your latest news update from Western Mass News. Good Monday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. Longmeadow police are investigating a break-in at a public swimming pool at Bliss Park with hazardous chemicals poured on a nearby playground. Police and fire were first alerted to the situation Sunday morning after receiving a report of two children with burn-like injuries after leaving the park. The fire department confirms muriatic acid, a chemical commonly used to clean swimming pools, was poured on the slides. Tomorrow, former President Donald Trump is expected to be arraigned in Florida. This after an indictment was unsealed Friday, revealing he's facing 37 felony counts related to the mishandling of classified documents. Congressman Richard Neal telling Western Mass News his reaction to this case and saying, quote, I hope the arraignment tomorrow will not be a circus-like atmosphere. The American justice system is also going to be heavily scrutinized here. Also a traffic alert and nightmare in Philadelphia. It could impact drivers for months to come. Part of I-95 collapsed Sunday after a tanker truck caught fire under the highway. The fire so intense it caused the highway to buckle. That section of I-95 is closed in both directions and authorities are telling drivers to avoid the area. The highway collapse caused explosions around the road. This section of 95 is an important thoroughfare for people traveling south from New Jersey or heading north from Pennsylvania. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown to check of your forecast. We do have a frontal system coming into the area tonight that looks to bring a couple of showers by the late evening and first part of the night and then a period of soaking rainfall during the overnight just before sunrise might get a quarter to a half an inch of rain across the area, which will be beneficial. Other than that, cloudy skies, patchy fog with temperatures only dropping to the low 60s. Definitely a muggy feel. Now tomorrow we still hang on to that mugginess. Temperatures will be back to the low to mid 70s. Showers still lingering in the morning, but they take Taper off by midday and skies remain mostly cloudy with only a light breeze coming in out of the west northwest. So that's the system we're watching for tonight. Again, a soaking rain coming through overnight, maybe a rumble of thunder. However, as we head into Tuesday, things kind of quiet down a little bit for the afternoon. But another upper level disturbance comes in on Wednesday, and that one could bring a better shot at some scattered thunderstorms. Not a severe weather threat, but definitely one we're watching at this point because that could change. Temperatures cool back to the mid 70s on Thursday and another round of showers and storms possible to end the week. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather and exclusive content.